Clients of the Skyway Animal Hospital are looking for answers. They want to know if their pets are among the mistreated animals and about the process that led to the veterinarian's license suspension. The video in this story is graphic. We do want to warn you of that. CTV's Austin Delaney broke this story earlier this week. And Austin, there has been plenty of fallout. What's the latest? Well, the latest is just the continuing amount of people who show up at this, at this clinic demanding answers, demanding why a sentence of just 10 months, a suspension of just 10 months. Of course, now there is a criminal investigation. A Skyway Animal Hospital employee showed up for work this morning, only to find the doors still shut. The clinic has been closed since we aired this video showing its owner, Dr. Mahaviriki, abusing pets in his care choking them, hitting their noses with nail clippers, swinging a cat under anesthetic by its tail as he takes the pet into surgery. Come on, buddy. One of those dogs is Dakota, whose owners took him to the clinic when he was just four months old. He was there to simply have his nails clipped. The video brings Ashley Corrado to tears. The couple recognized Dakota the moment they saw the video when the story broke two days ago. What do you think when you see that? I don't... I don't know. No. Dr. Riki pleaded guilty to charges of professional misconduct. He was given a 10-month suspension by the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, a sentence that can be reduced to four months if he completes two and a half days of retraining. I just don't understand. You shouldn't be a doctor. No. It's like, how could a vet, somebody that you trust, do something like that? An online petition demanding his license be revoked now has 25,000 signatures. And a local MPP has written to the college an open letter demanding some answers as well. Why the sentence of just 10 months and not a revocation of his license. He's also asking why police weren't notified by the college or the Ontario SPCA. I'll have more at 6 o'clock tonight. I'll send it back inside. Seeing their own dog being injured. Clients now speaking out. He should definitely do some jail time. Describing the lasting impact of a veterinarian's abuse. This is Dakota, one of the dogs abused at the Skyway Animal Hospital in St. Catharines. His owners saw him in our coverage in that disturbing video that exposed a veterinarian and led to his suspension. Good evening. You will hear in moments from Dakota's owners who fought back tears as they watched their Alaskan Malamute in the video. And let's warn you about the graphic images you're about to see. Images secretly captured by employees at the Skyway Animal Hospital and obtained exclusively by CTV News. Our Austin Delaney joining us in the studio for the story you will only see here Austin awful stuff isn't it thank yeah. you it is one thing for the public to be outraged when they see images of pets being abused at the hands of this veterinarian but just imagine for one moment that you're watching these videos and you see your dog is one of his victims a Skyway Animal Hospital employee showed up for work this morning only to find the doors still shut. The clinic has been closed since we aired this video showing its owner, Dr. Mahaviriki, abusing pets in his care. Choking them, hitting their noses with nail clippers, swinging a cat under anesthetic by its tail as he takes the pet into surgery. Roll over. No, he's not going to do that. One of those dogs is Dakota, whose owners took him to the clinic when he was just four months old. He was there simply to have his nails clipped. The images brought Ashley Corrado to tears. The couple recognized Dakota the moment they saw the video when CTV News broke the story two days ago. What do you think when you see that? I don't... I don't want to watch it. <laughs> no. Dr. Riki pleaded guilty to charges of professional misconduct. He was given a 10-month suspension by the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, a sentence that can be reduced by four months to six months if he completes two and a half days of retraining. I just don't understand. You shouldn't be a doctor. No. It's like, how could a vet, somebody that you trust, do something like that? An online petition demanding his license be revoked now has more than 25,000 signatures. Niagara Falls MPP Wayne Gates is outraged. When I see something like this, did the crime fit the punishment? And in this case, absolutely not. 
He sent an open letter to the college demanding answers, but today in releasing its reasons, the college said the only reason we should overturn the penalty would be if it was presented in such a manner as to bring the workings of justice into disrepute. The college goes on to say this penalty sets out not only as a deterrent, signals to other veterinarians the lack of humane considerations for their patients will be met with serious consequences. Angry pet owners are asking why the college did not call the Ontario SPCA when it was informed by the whistleblowers working at the clinic in March of last year. The college believes the OSPCA does not have authority over veterinary clinics, but after having seen the video on CTV, an OSPCA inspector launched a criminal investigation into animal cruelty charges, a charge that if found guilty carries a maximum five-year prison sentence. I'm Austin Delaney. Ken? Thank you, Austin. And if you want to read the full decision reached by the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, we have it on our website, toronto.ctvnews.ca.